Hey and welcome to Everything Electrical Engineering. In today's video I'll be calculating the exact ABCD parameters for a long transmission line and comparing against the approximate pi model for error. The line is completely transposed and operating in steady state. I'll then use MATLAB to verify these results. Please check out my videos on short and medium transmission lines where I go into more details on the approximation model. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get future videos that will analyze the maximum power flow, line compensation, transient studies, MATLAB tutorials, and much, much more. For values usually greater than 250 kilometers, an exact model is used, as the error is usually negligible up to this point. This is an approximate value, of course, and varies. In the example in this video, the line length is 240 km. For short and medium transmission lines, the approximate model can be conveniently used for hand calculations. The exact model line parameters are not lumped like the approximate model. Instead, they are uniformly distributed along the line. Considering Kirchhoff's voltage and current's law, a second order differential equation is used and the resulting equation is as follows, where x is simply the distance of a line. At a given distance a, is equal to d, which is equal to cosh times the propagation constant times vr, and is per unit. b is equal to the characteristic impedance times cinch times the propagation constant, and is in ohms. c is equal to the inverse of the characteristic impedance times cinch times the propagation constant, and is in siemens. The receiving end quantities can also be expressed in terms of the sending end by considering ad minus bc equals 1. This is covered in more detail in the video for medium transmission line. These values can now be used to find the accurate equivalent pi model. This can be advantageous for power system simulation programs rather than using the ABCD parameters. However, it is beyond the scope of this video. Please comment below if you want me to do a more in-depth video on the equivalent pi model. In this example, the transmission line three phase voltage is 500 kV at a distance of 240 kilometers. The series impedance is 0.04 plus J 0.37 ohms per phase per kilometer. The shunt admittance is J 3.9 10 to the power minus six Siemens per phase per kilometer. First thing to do is change the values from Z and Y from Cartesian to polar. Now let's calculate the characteristic impedance whose unit is in ohms as follows. Square root of z over y, which is equal to the square root of 0 0.3721588 at an angle of 83.829982 degrees, all over 0 0.000039 at an angle of 90 degrees. This is the square root of 9524.58 at an angle of minus 6.1708, which is equal to 308.9086995 at an angle of minus 3.08509 degrees. The unit is ohms. In Cartesian, this is equal to 308.461001 minus J16.625145. Propagation constant is a complex quantity and is equal to square root of z times y. The unit is the reciprocal meter. This is equal to alpha plus j beta, which are the real and imaginary parts. We will now multiply the propagation constant by the length of the line. This is the square root of 0 0.3721588 at an angle of 88.82982 degrees times 0. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, 9, at an angle of 90 degrees times 240. In polar form, this is equal to 0 0.28913820009 at an angle of 86.91491 per unit. In Cartesian form, this is equal to 0 0.01556111824 plus J0.2887191561 denoted by alpha and beta respectfully. 
Considering the following formula, one can evaluate the hyperfunctions, cos and sinh. Cos is equal to e to the power of the propagation constant times the length of the line, plus e to the power of minus the propagation constant times the length of the line, all over 2. Sinh can be calculated similarly, except you subtract the values as follows. We have already calculated the propagation constant and can now put into the formula. Note first that dimensionless quantities, j beta times the length, is in radians and not degrees. Now let's derive e to the power of the propagation constant times the length of the line. This is e to the power of 0 0.015561118 a24 times e to the power of 0 0.2887191. 156, which is equal to 1.0156 a2 a2 3 at an angle of 0 0.2887191156 radians. In Cartesian form, this is equal to 0 0.9736430503 plus j 0 0.2891 double nine one five nine. Now let's calculate it to the power of minus the propagation constant times the length of the line, which is equal to zero point nine eight four five five nine two six double two at an angle of minus zero point two eight eight seven one nine one five six rads. In polar this is equal to zero point nine four three eight 397409 minus j.28033778742. Now that we derive the hyperbolic function sinh and cosh, we can calculate the ABCD parameters as follows. A equals D, which is equal to 0 0.9736430503 plus j 0 0.28. 9189159 plus 0 0.9438397409 minus j 0 0.2803377a4 all over 2. This is equal to 0 0.9587413956 plus j 4.405. 13695 10 to the power minus 3 and this is per unit. Sinch can be calculated similarly except the minus sign as follows. This is equal to 0 0.01490 plus j 0 0.28 47837895. This B is equal to the characteristic impedance times sinh, which is 308.461001 minus j 16.625145598 times 0.01490165465 plus j 0.2847837893. This is equal to 9.3315138 plus j87.5969 59 ohms. C is equal to the reciprocal of the characteristic impedance times sinh, which is 1 over 308.461001 minus j16.6251459 times 0 0.014901654 plus j 0.2847837895 this is equal to minus 1.4460923610 to the power of plus j 9.2316 Two eight eight six three ten to the power of minus four siemens. 
Now let's compare the results from one of the ABCD parameters of the exact model against that of the approximate model. In this example I will compare the B parameter. The exact model B parameter was calculated already to be 88.09258979 at an angle of 89.91933 in polar form. Let's compare this to the approximate model B parameter. This is equal to Z times the length of the line. This is 87.3174 at an angle of 83.829 degrees. Between the two models, the error is approximately 1%. However, this is likely to increase with the length of the line. I've used MATLAB to calculate the ABCD parameters so I could verify the hand calculations. From the results, one can see the calculations to be true. Due to the length of these videos, I cannot cover the MATLAB element here and I will cover in a separate video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to check out some of the other videos. If you felt like you got any value from this, please like, comment and share.